Start recording for round three of the challenge. Really don't want to play against Canister. I find that I lose, that I'm losing quite a bit. I lose a lot against whatever it is. Um, if I don't have <coughs> uh, whatever my deck, without Kataki in my deck, I find that Lantern usually isn't great. You like an average value. You, you're just Captain Average Value Life. That's where we're at there with you. All right, let's hope this one goes better. Keep winning. Why is Meg not playing Borba Ringless for maximum value? You should ask her, man. I think this guy plays Storm, from what MTG Goldfish told me. And I've played against this guy once or twice. And Storm's the best deck in the format. Like, this is going to be, this is going to be interesting for sure. Nathan, I think you would have to have a fairly large donation in order to get Megan out here to play Borborygmos. I'm going to keep this hand where one, we're either a Street Wraith or a Bobble from Delirium, and we've got an Inquisition, and we have some Counter Magic. I think this is good against Storm here. We can hit a cost reducer. They went top bottom. That could do it. How much for a Meg draft? Well, maybe we'll ask her here in a bit. Um, so we're gonna get watery grave. That was probably the wrong land. It probably should got breeding pool. Because now, like, I ha this has to get green and it can't get red because we have the breeding pool, not the uh, the land. God, the rage. Okay, so Spire Buff Canal, he drew. Opponent is playing around Stub. We will pass. It sucks that this can't get breeding pool. So my opponent's probably going to be able to resolve. I, I took the pieces. Oh my gosh, it's been one of those days so far already. Pottery Barn is value. Dude, my wife loves Pottery Barn. She is a huge fan of that. So this is 15, 12, so we can play a Death Shadow, which is what we're looking for. I do wish that we could get a second... Um, Second blue source here, though. But it's not going to take much to turn on this Death Shadow. To get this thing to where it's going to do a lot of damage. Hopefully I get to stub a Gifts here. The odds of that don't seem very good, though. You even have a coupon. Nice. My wife loves Pottery Barn and coupons. What is my opponent doing? Land? Alright, that's pretty good. So, this is probably going to get me Delirium. So we're going to come in, we're going to attack for one to start. Then play Liliana and tick it up and leave this Watery Grave open. This is going to speed the clock up here. At least make it so that I can begin to lean on my opponent. If I turn this Traverse on, I think I might just go fetch for a fetch land in a breeding pool to make this four power. All right, so we're going to stub this. All 
So we've got Past and Flames, Desperate Ritual. We could we could for like for sure die next turn. Like there is a world where my opponent definitely kills us, especially if they ditch this remand. Yeah. Yeah, we we dead here. Pass and flames out of their hand. They have the gifts. And that's what happens. We didn't have we didn't just didn't have a good enough clock. Um Yeah, it doesn't matter at this point. Alright, we shall we shall concede. I guess. Even if yeah, they got us. Okay, so in this matchup, I like boarding out a good amount of our removal because they tend to board out creatures to help blank the removal. So we definitely want this gone, this gone, this gone. I want this. Big problem is I have a lot of cards I want. And like these are maybes. Because they just turn into like they just turn into a uh, whatever it is game. A they did like sometimes they cut their gifts, cut paths and flames. Like they don't even use the graveyard sometimes. So I think I'm gonna go like this. So we'll cut these, and then I don't know if I want these spell bombs. Because sometimes they don't even use the graveyard. They don't need it in game two. Rage is like, man, like rage can help speed the clock up. I guess we'll take the rage. Rage, it's kind of, it's kind of mopey. The rage is speed the clock up. But the bombs are probably better. Yeah, we'll go like this. Keep in two removal spells. We brought in two more of the brutalities. We have returns. And then we'll just have to make sure that we, like, discard spell aggressively for, um, yeah, this hand's good. We discard spell pretty aggressively. And hope we don't get, like, mooned out of this game. I'm going to try to keep my life total high because this matchup, like, I'm not going to, like, get really aggressive hurting myself because in this matchup, the life total matters. So I'm going to start with Overgrown Tomb. They put a card on top. So I'm just going to take Brawl. Kind of feels bad a little bit, but I don't have an answer to the Brawl in my hand. Like He's going to be able to deal with both of my Tarmog Lifes. But he's going to pay a lot of life to do it. So... He kept a Cantrip. He kept a cantrip. That seems aggressive. So now... We'll take a dismember. Well... Does it really matter, like, these dismembers... But then leaving him with, like, Rituals, Ritual Rituals, kind of mopey. But this is the one that splices, right? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a Ritual. Then I'll just get a basic. Kind of give up on the Static Caster for the time being. And we'll just pass. Okay, that's insurance. So now do we just play Tarmogoyf to get Tarmogoyf in play? Because one, two, three, four, five. So we actually can play Tarmogoyf. Yeah, so we can play Tarmogoyf. If my opponent tries to dismember it, 
I can exile their graveyard in response, and it'll like effectively counter it. Because my Tarmogoyf will become four cards, and four types in the graveyard, and um, I'll have four types in the graveyard. So it'll take my opponent two dismembers to kill the Goyf, and they see that. So they're waiting for me. I should have cracked this fetch land. Okay. Hopefully my opponent goes for like a little mini empty here. Slight. Cast sleight of hand. Another sleight of hand. All right, so now I can get this off the tape. I can exile my opponent's graveyard just to get another card here. I'd like to find some some more disruption. I know three out of the four cards in my opponent's hand. Okay, there's our disruption. That goes and gets me a death shadow. Give us your learn on Hazret in this deck. I don't think Hazret's very good in this deck. I think Hazret is very good in Jund. Like, I don't think you can play modern Jund without Hazret. Because it's just like an actual clock, which is what I which is what the deck needs. The deck needs a way to like kill people. So fetch shock. Yeah, I think we just because my opponent's got we know three out of the four cards, so I think I'm just gonna fetch shock just so I fetch shock. Hang on. I guess I shouldn't, because it doesn't even I guess I need to fetch shock to make it so these dismembers don't kill my death shadows. But if I just attack for nine, my opponent goes to six. I then can only cast one of them, but then the Tarmogoyf doesn't kill them. Yeah, I guess we're going to do it. Play another one, then hope our opponent doesn't, like... They need a lot to go off from here, but it could be done. Yeah. Yeah, so I think Hazard's a must in the Jundash Shadow decks. So he kept in a little bit more. I think on the draw, I don't, I'm not gonna have, I want a couple more removal spells in my deck. I don't think I want the spell bombs. I do want another way to answer. I could see these Lilianas being too slow. If my opponent is on the draw, or if I'm on the draw here, so maybe these Lilianas are better than the Spell Bombs. My opponent's got Blood Moon in after board. But I don't think Hazret's where you want to be in this deck, with this deck. Because you need the counter spells more than you need Hazret, and Hazret incentivizes you to keep counter spell cards in your hand. I could switch these. Are the Bombs better than the Veils? And I think they are on the draw. I think the Laveil is just too slow. That is what my my professional opinion is. That the Veils are just too slow. Yep, and this hand's good. We'll keep this. Two discard spells, a street wraith, and a threat. This is what we're looking for. So, Fetch Shock, Inquisition, like that is the play there. Good job, man. What have you played against? All right, now we're in a little bit of trouble. 
So I guess we'll take Brawl because Collective Brutality can kill Electromancer. Spyro, don't play it. God, yes, he didn't play it. That's gas. Him having that grape shot makes me nervous, so 12. I guess I need a shock in order to be out of this grape shot, but I do need to find some sort of overgrown tomb. Because my dash shadow, I need to have my dash shadow larger than whatever this is here. Two five color humans, one of them with cocoa red green, okay? So alternatively, let's see my opponent's drawing. Another grape shot. God. If I go to nine, then my opponent only needs to cast four spells. I don't think I can go to nine. Maybe I just go get a Tarmogoyf. I need to kill him, but I also need to not get got by these. This is one spell, two spell. Yeah, I just don't think I can do that. Oh, this sucks. I think I just need to play a Death Shadow and offer it up as fodder to one of these... Um, to one of these grape shots. Unless I draw a stub. No, didn't draw a stub. All right, I think we've got to pop this. I need some form of interaction. So next turn, I can play this, hit him for one, play another Death Shadow, 19. And I can do six. So I can kill him next turn if I leave my fetch lands uncracked and then traverse for a street wraith because this is nine, which makes these 12, three, three minus 20. Someone's got Manamorphose, Grape Shot, Grape Shot. I'm probably going to start by traversing for a Street Wraith. Unless my opponent somehow, for some reason, sets up an Empty. Okay, they're just going to let me go here. So they have Bolt. Jeez. So I can kill my opponent. But if they have Lightning Bolt, then they kill me. So let's start off with this. So now we've gone too far and we have to try it. We have to go for it. So we're just going to attack, fetch shock, fetch shock, and then hope our opponent doesn't have a lightning bolt.
So we have nothing. Yeah. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, and we had to do it because my opponent just goes metamorphose like in the, the, the two grape shots is just going to get us. Oh, that sucks. Because <laughs> if not, he just sits there and he like burns me out. We needed a discard spell. Yeah, I mean, what are you going to do? All right, we'll jump back into this for a little while. Gosh, that sucks. We get the right deck going on here. So now I got to win out to top 16, which is definitely a little frustrating after beating up. Like, we got lucky and beat our one of our better matchups. But that's why, I mean, Storm's the best deck, and that's why, or one of the best decks, and that's why it is. So I think I'll keep this. No, no, I would not play ENT. It is not that is not up my alley, Nilla. It does some cool stuff, but it's not what I'm looking to do. We lost to a good matchup, which sucks, but we beat a bad matchup, really bad matchup, which is good. So like So this should be another one that's probably kind of an easy matchup game one. Yeah. Play each run, yeah. Let me, uh, I need to plug this thing in. Oh, I need to stop recording too.